Hello and welcome to the shop. Today uh, I'm going to try and do Cindy Drozda's Stacking Egg Boxes justice. I was able to attend her virtual class via Zoom and she challenged us to go forth and make some nesting boxes. So you're going to see me using some tools I don't generally use, uh, including the calculator on my phone because math is not my strong point which seems odd for somebody who works with wood, but it is what it is. And I will do my best to stack a walnut inside a cherry inside a spalted birch box. Thanks for joining. Stick around, let's see how we do. So the outside dimension of my egg is going to be one and a half inches. This is the small egg that goes on the inside of the boxes. So that means my inside diameter one and a quarter which gives me the opportunity for a good deep recess
Nope. Too thin. <laughs> that's okay. That's why we do this. We're learning. It's practicing. I'll face this off and uh, do it again. I still have enough, but I can make an egg here. Now, I really didn't leave myself enough room in that recess anyway, so I'm going to make it a little bit wider, a little bit thicker. Back to my measurements. Okay, the inside is sanded. I've chamfered this. I'm going to work this uh, shape a little tiny bit. Not much. up a little bit of a straight column here where I can mark the depth of my egg before I take it off the chuck with my super exact measuring system. Let's eyeball that again. Okay, so I'm right, the inside top is right here. So I'm actually going to take a little bit more away so that I can mark where I want the outside of the tip to be. So I'm show myself where to turn to once I can no longer stick my finger in there and see what my depth is. Well, that's kind of where I want the tip of my egg to be, is out there. And I just have to trust my own marking skills and uh, trust that that's going to be where the fit is. So we're going to bring up the other side and we're going to make our tenon. This is the most crucial. This is not crucial because I'm not fitting anything. The tenon I'm about to work on is the most crucial part of this. Initially, it has to be a very, very tight fit. Then I have to loosen it enough that uh, I'm 
you can get the box open. We're going to take our caliper. Measure that diameter. And then I am going to sneak up on that. And that's too loose. Good thing we got more egg. When you do this, and if you get too loose, leave it. Don't don't clean it off. Leave it, and turn your next part just short of it. Now another way that I can do this is to use my uh, skew. That might be a little bit more of an accurate way to do it. It's not quite as hefty as the uh, carbide. Cut here. Now I know I'm proud. I know it's too big, so I can take this away now. Okay, so we're gonna shape out this egg, get these sides to match. Damn. So I'm going to hit this with sandpaper and see if I can't lighten that up. I don't want to hit it with a tool because then I'll make it too loose too fast. So let me, get the 320, uh, let me hit it with some 400. Wow. 
the 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 So what I'm going to do is shape the outside a little bit more so that I can feel where my shape is so that I don't get too deep. This is the shallow end of the egg, the wider end. So what I don't want is to get too deep into here. So if I shape it a little bit more, I have a guideline. measurement right here and create a slight recess and I'm going to cut back a little so that I can I need to surface this first Now, I have the same challenge in that this is nice and round and smooth, so how am I going to get it off of there? Well, on this type of a jam chuck, there's a really easy trick to that. You go back to your parting tool. Just underneath it, give yourself something to grip. Okay. 
inside a medium cherry box which has very good green match there's the cherry and then maple for the outer egg. So there you have nesting egg boxes. Just in time for Easter. So that's it. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you again next week.